Hi, this is Kurt Yuli Kinsey, La Jolla's Man About Town, and I'm very excited to be here in La Jolla Elementary School and introduce you to Donna Trippi, who is the president and queen presiding officer over her domain. <laughs> How about that? The Hi, Donna. Principal. Right, the principal, exactly. The principal, right. <laughs> and I have been at this school, this is my 19th year. 19 years. At this school, so, and I absolutely love it. Right. Um, this is just a labor of love for me to be at this school working with this community for all these years. So. And it is a fantastic place. It is a fantastic place. I have two children that uh, attend this school, and so I've had a chance to be here and work with Miss Trippy and uh, see the intimate operations of the school, and I think it's fantastic. So, but if we were talking to someone just moving to La Jolla, there are so many choices here, probably more than many other places. Mm -hmm. There's Gillespie and Children's and La Jolla Elementary and outside of La Jolla, the, the La Jolla Country Day. Um, but this school really academically competes par on par, if not mm -hmm. above, and cost a lot less because we're a public school. Um, what, would, what would you say to someone moving in if they were looking for the right school for their children? Well, I, this is their neighborhood school. Right. And, you know, we've worked really hard um, on creating a quality neighborhood school. And I think that's been um, a priority for our teaching staff and for our community mm -hmm. that we wanted to be the school of choice for anyone moving into this area who is right. in with our, within our resident boundaries. So we compete really well. Um, you know, yeah. we, I think. At the beginning, um, we had quality within our classrooms, but you know our physical surroundings weren't as good as they are now. And I think um, so. We've worked on making the facility more beautiful. So we've worked on campus improvements. Um, we also didn't have the enrichment programs we have today. Right. So we've worked on um, enhancing, you know, what the uh, district can provide us. So in a public education, you have a wonderful um, curriculum based on common core standards. Right. And so what we do with curriculum and instruction is wonderful in the classrooms, but then we enhance it with what our foundation is able to provide. So we have um, now art, music, technology, and then we have a rotation of dance, theater, and yoga. Mm -hmm. So all of that is new. Um, last few years, we've been providing Spanish in the classrooms every week. Yeah. So that's a huge thing and something that's been a priority in our community and then we've always had PE so we have a wonderful certificated PE coach and she works with the kids every week we have a run club and then we have a lot of just community events sure know? so in addition to those enrichment programs um, we also really enhance our school community through um, social events that we do once a month and some of those are educational and some of them are just social so we have like a family dance we have an amigos fiesta carnival those are more social we have a talent show then we have a family movie night we have um, family science night so that's more academic right. those kinds of things so we provide a lot as a community so if you were to compare la jolla elementary school with another public elementary school outside of, of La Jolla, let's, say, let's just say Claremont Mesa, I'm just throwing it out there as an example. Do we have a lot more programs offered here than they do just in a public school standard? We do, okay. because we have a very active foundation right. and they're very successful in their fundraising and I think because of that we're able to provide more. Right, so that's the PTO, right? No, the PTO actually is the um, the group we we kind of we have two parent groups. So okay. we have a friends, a foundation, okay, and they do the fundraising that provide funding for the things that we want sure. to do that are extra. Um, so smaller class sizes right. and the enrichment kinds of things. Um, and the PTO are the, is the group that organizes all of the fun things that we do at night. You know that we do to have the kids come back to campus and enjoy gotcha. the social pieces of our community. Right. So it's the fundraisers and the fundraisers. Okay. And, <laughs> and that was stated before and yes, I had caught I, that yeah, by no, so I didn't really sorry. still make the delineation between the two. And I've been here hard, for a few years. I know, we work hard <laughs> at that because it is kind of, you know, we have these two big groups and they're doing so many things right. and I think it's hard to keep track of. But, right. but they all. What is our average class size here? Um, the dis year. well, the district um, has a class average K three that's twenty four to one, and actually it's TK now. We we've, we've had a TK program for the last couple of years, okay. um, and then at grades four and five, you could have as high as thirty six students in a class. But because we have the foundation and we do extra fundraising, we hire additional teachers, mm -hmm. and we end up. Um, this year, um, I think we average about 22 K2, K3 
and at the upper grades we're averaging um, under tw under 30, so like 22 or 23 at fourth grade, and yep. about 26 at, at fifth grade. Those are really great classes. Those are, yeah. That's, and, old, and, that's, that's the olden days. <laughs> I know, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And we try very hard not to have combination classes, so right. you know, where some, some schools will have you know, grades, two grades together, like right. our first, second grade combination, we don't do that. We, we try to have straight classrooms. And so this year we actually have very small class size at first grade, yes. um, under 20, in order not to have a combination class. Because if we didn't have that funding, we would be, we'd have a one, two, a two, three, a three, four, even. And, you know, we don't want to do that. Right, so. right. And one of the one of the prize possessions here too is your robotics team okay. and the robotics courses that we have here. Exactly. I, yeah. I, didn't say that with the enrichment, but um, yeah. that's been the last two years we applied for a grant through Monsanto. Uh -huh. And so we got a $10,000 grant each year. And then in addition, um, the foundation provided additional money right. to to um, to beef up what we wanted to do. And so last year we started robotics in grades three through five as another science unit. So it's the engineering part of the science and engineering standards. And then this year we use the money to um, provide a K2 as well. So we're going to be doing simple machines to get sure. them ready for the robotics that they're doing in 3.5. Absolutely. And impressive. then we, yes, and we've had after school robotics for years. Yes. This, this now all children are getting exposed to, not just the ones that are interested. Right. And then we're, we're getting more students interested in it. Yes. So, so this year we've got about 90 students doing robotics after school as well as... And you're certainly setting the bar for Mirlands yeah. as they exactly. graduate. Up. Exactly. <laughs> you know, they, yeah. they're exploring Monsanto grant for next year okay. and they are working on doing um, doing the program there too because, as you said, the kids are going up right. and wanting, wanting to continue. So, so this school uh, was uh, awarded a national award is it two years in a row, or is this the No, um, the National Blue Ribbon Award comes up here and there. It's not on a regular cycle. Okay. So 2016, um, they sent out information saying that we qualified for the award if we wouldn't want to put in for it. Um, so we did all the paperwork, and we qualified for the award. So we went to Washington, D.C., yes. and picked up our award. Um, the state awards are the Distinguished Schools that are now the Gold Ribbon Awards. Um, and we've received that every four years. So we got it in 2008, 2012, and 2016. So the next time we're eligible to apply is 2020. Great. So, and we're on that track. And we just got a district award called the Quality Schools in Every Neighborhood Award, and we got that for our exemplary instruction and leadership. Right, and those so test scores schools, were off the charts. The test scores were off the charts. Yeah. And they've been progressively better every year, and they were awesome to be in. Right. <laughs> so we've been in the mid, you know, high 90s now yeah. for a percentage of students who are um, meeting or exceeding the standards and most of our kids exceed the standards. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So if you were to say one thing to a parent, um, and just so you guys know, um, I started out in private school and came here and I'm super happy that I did and I've met a lot of parents who started in some of the private schools and like you mentioned, it's the neighborhood school. And that is so nice because there weren't that many kids that actually live near us and what a chore it is to get your kids together for play dates and extracurricular activities when they're scattered and now we have a bunch that right. we can walk to which is awesome right and but if you were telling a parent um, who is concerned what would be the one thing that you would tell them to reassure them that this is the right place for their children it depends on what their concern was but i think i think we have through the years answered the concerns and that we have reduced the class size yeah. because i think that I think was a lot of it. that was a concern at fourth and fifth grade um i think um, um you know areas of enrichment where people were feeling like they wanted that included in the school day mm -hmm. and we are now doing all of that so and have been for a lot of years now but sure. i think um We've got experts teaching all those classes. Um, this year, the district is actually even giving us an additional instrumental music program, which is great. Um, so I, you know, I- Are they able to tour the school? Is that oh, allowed? Oh, yes. So That's anyone so I've met, like we met, yeah. um, and you know, we and we have toured the school, and anyone who has an incoming kindergartner, we do um, January and February, we do um, orientations. Okay. So people can just come. But if they just want to make an appointment with me and, you know, come and, and talk through sure. what the curriculum is and you know we can tour the campus and yeah. we can talk about whatever concerns they would have and I think people are 
very happy here. I think we've grown, um, you know, in the amount of resident students we served. When we, when I first came here, we we served um, other students that came from other district schools. We okay. were taking more choice students, um, and we can't, we don't have the room anymore because it's all local residents. because uh, you know we have all local residents and people want to be here. So right. um, you know, I think. I think word has spread that it's a quality education and sure. your, your neighborhood school, you know, right. where you're going to meet your neighborhood kids, just what you said. Yeah. You know, I think I, I've had people say that before, you know, they are really thrilled to be um, living and and the kids are living and working with the kids that, you know, they're with every day. So. And they even get to see each other Sunday if they want to, right? Right, at the, the open air market. <laughs> so that's one of our bigger fundraisers. And I think, yeah. um, you know, I think... With our fundraising campaigns, we don't ask parents for a lot through the year because we really run that as a business that really supplements what we um, what we do with asking parents for donations. Sure. So I think that works out really well. Yeah, I think it does too. Asking a lot. Absolutely. Well, if you guys are considering putting your kids into public school, I highly recommend La Jolla Elementary School. And you can always get a hold of Miss Trippy. What's the best way to reach you? Usually email is the best. Can you so tell it's, everybody yeah, your email? It's dtrippi, D-T-R-I-P-I, at sandy, S-A-N-D-I, dot net. That's a district email. Very good. And we thank you for your time. Oh, thank you thank for you. sharing some of the thank wonderful you. things about this school. And uh, everyone, we'll see you soon. La Jolla's Mad About Town. Kurt Uly Kinsey signing off.